Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to do the demo and review for the She Glam Soft Focus High Coverage Powder Foundation. Um, I picked up mine in four different shades because I really was unsure. I've never used this brand before. It's very inexpensive um, and it's powder foundation. You guys know I had to try it. This particular powder foundation is $8.99. It says that it comes in 36 shades, which I definitely had a hard time picking the shades and I'll show you guys those as well. I picked up four, got $8.99. I figured it was a no brainer. One of them would work, right? Um, so it's considered soft, blurring, smoothing, lightweight, full coverage, oil control, talc free, has shea butter, jojoba oil. Um, it's also water resistant as well. So this has a lot of claims, this powder foundation. I picked up, like I said, four shades um, so I will just kind of show you guys the shade shades and the boxes here. So I'll hold them up and let's see if you guys can actually read them. If it will zoom for you, perhaps there we go. So we have bamboo, nude, acorn, and sand. Um, I'm probably going to go with the shade nude cause I've been testing that one out the most. Um, and they do kind of go in this order for me, at least as far as color order. Um, again, I will swatch those. These are $8.99 and if they work, could be worth it. So I'm going to just open one of the boxes to kind of show you guys, uh, the box and how it comes. So when you open it, there's always this little card inside. It tells you kind of how to use it. Um, and then just a little bit about the product. Okay. Let's see if I missed anything. Not much here. It talks about the ingredients as well and that how, um, it is talc free, vegan and cruelty free as well. I have to make sure I include that. Um, the product actually comes in like this velvet pouch. Like it's very fancy and the product has a lot of weight to it, which I found really interesting. I will say when I open the products, you can tell and smell that these came from overseas. I believe most of the products are made um, in China, but the ingredients are, you know, from all over Europe and the UK and pretty much everywhere. But it does definitely have that scent of overall um, being shipped from overseas, which if you guys haven't smelled that smell before, you guys will definitely know when you open the package. I don't particularly like things that have that scent. They smell kind of icky and dirty, but the uh, foundation itself doesn't have any scent at all. Um, this is a component. It comes with this beautiful thick component, really heavy, feels very luxe. You're getting 11 grams here. I also really liked that on the back of each of these, it gives you like an expiration date, which I think is really great. I know a lot of companies don't do this, but they should. I think this is really smart for them. Um, okay, so it has the compact here, uh, really luxe, and then underneath comes with your sponge. Um, it's two sided, so there's a velvet side and a sponge side. The sponge side, obviously, you put the product on. The velvet side is for like touch ups. It does come with a mirror as well underneath if you guys are into that. I'm just gonna grab my MAC brush here, my two 12 brushes, a flat brush, because I'm gonna do some stripes on my face so you guys can kind of see the difference in the colors. Uh, so you guys can kind of decide. Hopefully this will help you guys decide for yourself. So this is the color nude, which I have worn the most because I feel like it looks the closest to my skin tone. I don't know if you guys can actually see that because it literally matches pretty darn good. Um, so that's nude. And then we have the next shade. So you guys can see it here. Definitely more yellow. This is bamboo which I like bamboo a lot also. I feel like once winter hits and I lose just a little bit of color, bamboo will be great. I don't know if it's translating on camera very well, but I do have those. Uh, these two, I think, are my closest matches, which is um, nude and bamboo. I definitely think those are the winners. I did go with a couple of darker shades, so this is acorn as well. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to use these in the summer. I'm gonna do it on the other side of my cheek so you guys can see the difference as well. Like I said, they all are pretty darn close. Like I could work, you know, make any of them work. So 
but I don't know if it's translating on camera. I'm doing a swatch here. Um, see how it's just a little darker than my skin tone, so this will probably be perfect for summer. Um, since we're going out of that season, I will hold on to those for that. And then I got this one, last but not least, this is sand. This would definitely be for my tannest seasons. Um, I'm gonna do a swatch just to kind of show you guys. It's very, very hard to tell because on my face, I could wear potentially any of them. So I actually feel like this was a good purchase choice on my behalf and guessing online. But you can tell uh, darkest. And then, so these two will be summer shades and then these two will be my regular all year round shades. But I just wanted to kind of show you the difference. So if you're worried about the color, um, don't be. I feel like it's inexpensive enough. You can buy a couple colors and you'll find one that works for you. Um, I have concealer on today. I'm testing or reviewing something else. So um, if you guys are curious about that, I'll post that video as well a little later. But I think today I want to go with the shade Nude. I feel like this is the closest to my color right this second since I'm starting to lose all my summer color as well. Um, so I have found that I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with my brush, the core coverage brush, and then I'm also gonna use the sponge that they gave you just to kind of show you guys the difference. So I'm gonna go right into the powder with my brush and then kind of hopefully fix any of that discoloration um, from testing other colors out. Like I said, it's very subtle, the difference, so I wouldn't worry about that. So I just want you to see the coverage from a brush side and then I will do the sponge on the other side. Um, I do still think that the sponge gives you the best coverage overall. So this is just the, br the brush side here. And then I'm gonna go in with a She Glam sponge. I wish it was a little thicker, I'm not gonna lie because it feels a little cheap and tacky but um, that's okay. I'm sure any sponge would work. I don't think it has to be this particular sponge, but I do think the product works better with a sponge. As you can see, I'm getting definitely more full coverage out of that. I do find that kind of pressing this product on helps keep it on a little bit better, but you're getting more coverage that way. I do think the brush makes it a little smoother because this is a very full coverage powder. So sometimes it can look a little overdone when you do it with a sponge, but overall, I think it's a great product as far as coverage is concerned. I do wanna just let you guys know that the product itself does not have a smell like when I smell it, I don't smell anything. So that is another benefit for me. I prefer products that don't have like a perfumey type of a smell. Um, powder foundation, sometimes they add that and I don't really know why. But um, I was expecting them to add it because this is a, you know, inexpensive brand. So I thought maybe that they would be doing that to try to cover up like the scent of like the ingredients or something. But overall, I'm really impressed with the coverage I'm getting and the sponge definitely is the way to go. So brush side, sponge side, both look great, but this one obviously is more flawless with the sponge. I am gonna go over the side I did the brush with and kind of just melt these two together. So, just finishing this up here, just so you guys can see that. So, I'm happy with this coverage here. When I come back, um, we will go over my thoughts on the She Glam skin focus high coverage powder foundation um and i have a couple other items from she glam we'll just talk about just because you know i bought it when i ordered all my stuff 
All right, guys, with the power of YouTube, all my makeup is on, and I have some thoughts about the She Glam Powder Foundation. Before I get into that, though, I do want to talk briefly about the couple other items that I did purchase from their website um, because they're supposed to be as good as the Tarte Maracuja Juicy um, Lip Plumper or the regular one, the gloss. Um, I will say the components very similar. These were $4.99. It says it's a gloss plumper. Um, so it's supposed to be similar. Um, so I got two of those. The colors I got were Pink Flamingo and Making Me Blush. Um, I also got one other product from them. This is part of their Harry Potter collection. And um, it is, you know, that black color with that glitter. It was so beautiful. I could not resist. Um, I think this has pH in it. So it just kind of gives you a little hint of color. These are $4.99 as well. So I'm going to put this on so you guys can see it. How it has that black base with green glitter. It's just super, really pretty on the mouth. I like this a lot. Um, I would definitely repurchase this again. This is really cool and I like it. Um, and it's just like beautiful to look at and to bring out of your purse. So I really, really enjoyed that. However, with these, um, you know, we've got the making me blush and flamingo. So you guys can kind of see the colors here. Um, I'm not crazy about these. Um, I'll kind of do swatches on my hand so you guys can see since I already have the other one on. So, Making Me Blush is this pinker shade, and then this is Flamingo. Um, they look pretty on the mouth, and they are comfortable, but I don't think they're anything like the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plumpers. Um, it's fine. They're okay. I probably would not repurchase this again. That's just my personal opinion. Um, it kind of has more of like a chapsticky gloss type of a feel, opposed to like really juicy and wet. So I just think these are kind of a waste and these are their She Glam Shine Lip Plumper Sticks. Um, and I think these, this product's a pass from that, from this company. I just, I'm not, I'm not overwhelmed by it. I will say for $4.99, they're decent, but I would much rather just wait till the Tarte ones go on their sale for like 10 or 12 bucks because I just think they're better. Um, but if you're in a bind and you like this type of product and you don't want to spend a lot of money, then definitely try these. But I kind of think the star of the show was this lip product, their little Harry Potter lip product. Um, I am going to try to swatch them again on my hand because maybe that will show you a little bit more of the difference. Sometimes on the face, it doesn't always translate the difference. Even though I did it on my face, we are going to do it again on my hand for you guys. So I have all four shades on my hand again. Maybe this will give you a better, so you can see the colors a little bit better. Nude, um, bamboo, bamboo, acorn, and sand. So these are the colors so you guys can see. There is a pretty big difference. These two I definitely would say would be summer shades for me as where these two almost melt right into my hand. One's more neutral, one's more yellow, but I like and can wear them both. Um, so my thoughts, guys, about this product. Um, I am shocked once again, $8.99. This is a great product. Um, I think it's fabulous. I know a lot of other influencers are talking about this, and I think it's really good. I think it'd be a great summer product because it has... Um, that long wear and it's water resistant. So I think this would be perfect for like summer or like if you're going to be somewhere where it's really hot and you're kind of schmelty. Um, I like this. This is a go. I highly recommend. I kind of wish that they sold their products um, other places than their website because I don't like ordering from their website. I just don't. I kind of wish they were on Amazon and so we could just order from them directly. The shipping took kind of a long time and there wasn't a lot of a great communication, um, which is common for companies that are overseas or that you're dealing with internationally. Um, that was kind of the negative. The positive is that the product itself is great. Um, the packaging 
it does feel very luxe and nice. I mean, for $8.99, you really cannot beat it. It has a velvety soft texture on the face. Um, I'll get kind of closer so you guys can see. I did set it with makeup setting spray just because it kind of melts all that in because it is more of a full coverage powder. Um, so it can look a little powdery, but like velvety on the face. So if you set it with makeup setting spray, it kind of melts in and perfectly looks like your skin. Um, and it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. I mean, what more could you possibly want for $8.99? Uh, my only hiccup is, is I just wish I could order this from somewhere else or I wish they were sold more locally because I would be buying this as like my daily foundation or my all summer long foundation for sure. I have four colors, so I'm set for a bit, um, but we will see if this continues to be a part of my collection in the next year or so after I use these up because 11 grams is a lot. Um, that's very generous for $8.99. So overall, this is a yes. This is a must try from She Glam. Their powder foundation is a must. Um, and you guys definitely gotta try it for yourself. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. In the description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.